spiritual awakening can bring up emotions, highs and lows, like a roller coaster. You're feeling good, you're feeling bad, you know, you're just always up and down. Like you feel like you can't find steady ground. This could happen very easily, and it does happen. And many times you just don't know why. You're like, oh, I was feeling great 10 minutes ago. All of a sudden, I'm like, I'm, I'm like miserable or I'm depressed or like I could cry for no reason, right? Or maybe all of a sudden you're just elated. Like you have, you know, you're just like up and down, up and down. And it's really quite frustrating, right? But it happens and it's part of you just adjusting your energy as the whole planet is adjusting its energy, right? Um, but it's not always easy to deal with, right? It could be quite frustrating. So one thing you can do is to get a emotion code heart wall clearing. Okay, so the emotion code, and you can find out all about all of these things on my website, emotion code, body code, belief code. But right now I wanna address the heart. Heart wall, 97% of the population has this heart wall. It's like a wall full of these trapped emotions. You can think of a trapped emotion like the size of your fist, a ball of energy is just in there mucking up the works. So as we grow, and we have experience, we might create like this, um, this emotion and put this wall around our heart to keep ourselves safe. So now you've built this wall around your heart and it really no longer serves you. And especially as we're going through all these highs and lows of the awakening, you you can feel it even more intense. Like, you, like it's really making its presence known, but it, it's not, it's not serving you it's actually hindering you right so we need to break down that wall we need to delete release those emotions so that your heart is open and free for new experience to come in now this for many reasons in your life is a good thing to do right because we we find ourselves um going towards things wanting to manifest different things and we just like if we're hitting a, a wall like our heart wall literally or we're just coming up against not Things just aren't making it easy. Like stuff keeps getting in the way. It's like, what's going on? This, I, I can do this. This ought to be easy for me, but you just can't seem to do it. That feeling, well, probably because you have this heart wall, right? Standing in the way. So when we pull all of these motions out, it frees you up so that then the energy can flow so that you can just follow what you're guided to through your intuition, being able to really feel that and moving forward with those steps that actually take you where you're meant to be, right? Your heart is open now. You can receive inspiration. You can be taking there. You don't have this block in the way. So that's like a short version of, you know, how the heart wall can get in your way and what you can do about it. So let me just explain the trapped emotions. They're like um, a ball of energy, right? making up this wall, all these little balls of energy, uh, just like anything, a ball of you know, body code will have you know energy, just trapped energy imbalances in your body because of this energy that we pull out. But when we're talking about the heart wall, it's purely just trapped emotions. So we just locate them, pull them out, muscle test our way through, locate them, pull them out, get rid of that heart wall, feel yourself more open, and watch how things start flowing for you a little bit easier. Even though, I mean, this awakening is happening, we're adjusting actually pretty rapidly and we're trying to keep up with it. But once you get rid of that heart wall, it makes it so much easier, especially if one of the symptoms that you're really feeling has to do with this emotional roller coaster, these highs, these lows. This, I don't know why I feel so depressed. I have nothing to be depressed about, you know? But you are because because it, it's just bringing up all of this stuff to the surface, just like everything in the world right now, bringing it all up to the surface, right? So we can see those things that don't serve us anymore, get rid of it, bring in the love, bring in the good things. It's all about love, right? Oh, love, I'm wearing a perfect shirt for this today. Well, that's my website, right? Lovemylife.coach. So my goal is to help people to really, you know, release those things, get, get in the way of you just being the love that you are, experiencing your life through love which is of course the highest energy there is it's the energy that heals all and so if you want to find out more about um, heart wall i have i think I have, there's a blog post on it and i also have an emotion code page that will talk about it too so anyway check it out maybe if this resonates with you and i'm sure it will help you because as i said i think in the beginning i hope i did 
97% of the population has a heart wall, right? Once you start blowing these things out, you know, the more heart walls that I have the, the privilege of helping people release, the more we bring the planet's energy up, right? The more people you help heal, the, the, every one of us is a healer. You can go out and do this too through your own way of doing it. Maybe sometimes just through a conversation, right? Just throwing that love, healing, you know, giving that love out. But for now, those highs and lows, this emotional roller coaster that you're feeling, um, release your heart wall and you'll see big changes. <laughs>